So it's Monday morning and we start the week at a school to conduct all of the maintenance. Now I've cheated a little bit. I was here Saturday to cut the field with the tractor. So all of that is done. But with that in mind, we've still got the rest of the school to do so we can dart about getting all of the grassed areas around the school sorted. Now I'm on the Hustler. I'm going to be doing all of the wider areas because once I've done this, I'm going to shoot off in the tractor and get ahead for the day. But with me on the Hustler, getting all of the larger areas done, the boys are running around with the strimmer, the blower and the right to get all of the smaller areas completed at this site. Right, all the hustler work is done. As I mentioned earlier, I came here Saturday to mow the field. Two reasons for that. One is to try and get ahead and make this week a little bit better and smoother, less pressure. And the second reason is we knew that the weather wasn't going to be as great as last week this week. So I wanted to make sure this was done so we've got a little bit of leeway, like a half a day leeway give or take for this week to take the pressure off a bit. Anyway, I've done all the hustler bits. The lads are still running around doing the strimming and the smaller areas on the right and the strimmer. They've still got the field to line mark and then we're sorted here. So a mega quick visit, something that always takes us three hours. Because I did the back work on Saturday, we can be in and out of here in about an hour and a half, which is a lot better. Willing to do a Saturday for that. I'm going to fire the tractor up now, head over into Milton Keynes and we'll gonna go and check a couple of the sites the grass is really soggy this morning so yeah we're gonna have to test and adjust see what happens but let's get over there so i get over to the next site and get the gps fired up courtesy of chc nav i then start off with the boundary now this is a cricket outfield slash square so i just start doing all of the border work around the square first I then start laying my stripes down all symmetrical nice and circular around the square and there we have it, all sorted. I can get the Trimax packed up. This was a mega quick one and the stripes are looking phenomenal. The boys will be coming here shortly after once they've left the school to do all of the perimeter areas and areas that the tracks can't get to. And I'm on my way to the next one. So as soon as the boys get here, they start running around doing all of the strimming of the fixtures and fittings and then they jump on the mowers to get all of the areas that the tractor cannot get. And once all the mowing and strimming is completed, they can get all of the kit blowed down, ready for the next task, which is hedge cutting. So they get all of the hedge cutting sorted, and they can then get the kit onto the trailer and get on to the next one. Now I'm already over at the next one and I've made phenomenal progress over here. I'm nearly done, but I'm setting down the stripes and the ground seems to be taking it really well. But when the lads get here, they can start doing all the smaller areas, the same sketch and tidying up and strimming and blowing as we go. Okay, so we're all sorted. I just had a quick catch up with Ash. I'm gonna move to the next site now and get ahead with the grass cut in there. We've been really lucky here. It looks phenomenal. So yeah, mega happy. So it's currently midday and we are 26 acres through already not too bad at all but anyway let's get over to the next site and uh, get the Trimax back cutting some grass so with me on the way to the next site the lads get the line marker prepped we've got four pitches to do it and one of them is a lacrosse but once all of this is done they can then come and join me at the next site I've already made amazing progress at the next site and we are nearly sorted here and again the stripes are looking fantastic and the ground is taking it well. Right I am all sorted on the tractor the field is cut. The lads still aren't here. First of all I was a little bit worried because I thought I might need to send a search warrant out for them. They're, we're not actually cutting any of the perimeters or anything today because it's literally just about keeping the pitches cut and playable but I think they are on their way over. It's about two o'clock now. I could squeeze another site in but we'll have to have a chat when they get here and see what everyone wants to do. So as soon as the boys get over here they start with the strimming and we also get the line marker out to start with the line marking. We've got six pitches to do here and we're going to take it in turns to get all of the line marking done. Okay, we've just arrived at the next one. We weren't going to be doing this today, but I checked the weather when we finished at the last site. We were going to call it a day. 
Tomorrow is absolutely hammering it down by the looks of things. So it's going to put us behind. So we just had to squeeze another site in on today. Now, normally, normally we get the tractor over here. However, we're just going to do it with the Hustler as it's quicker transporting the Hustler over to the edge of Milton Keynes rather than driving the tractor and running out of light and whatnot. But anyway, but anyway, we're over here now. The ground conditions look OK we'll get the hustler out and start cutting. So we start off with all the grass around the facility, getting the strimming and the small areas of mowing done. Whilst I'm on the hustler, we've got three pitches to do and each pitch takes around eight minutes on the hustler. What an absolute beast. We are all sorted, all the mowing is done, all the mowing around the surrounding facilities and the line marking. Only time will tell what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. We're just gonna have to wait and see, but I can already feel the ground going back to where it was a couple of weeks ago. And uh, we'll have to see if we can get any mowing done. Tuesday, the rain has already started. It's not hammering it down yet, but it has been consistent overnight. So it's just me and Ash today. I don't think we're gonna get a lot done. However, we're gonna attempt it. Just walking the field now to see if it's safe for the tractor. I think we'll be okay here. So we'll get this site done first and see where we're at at the end. So Ash gets the kit ready and cracks on with the maintenance around the school and I get started with the tractor. But that comes with its issues. There's always issues. The ground's taking it really well. We seem to be able to cut grass. Got one problem. The clutch has gone extremely light on the tractor again to the point where I'm struggling to either stop or put it into gear. So I'm now going. The only problem with that is I can't stop. And I need to be so careful because the ground's so soft, I can't be just chucking it about and turning quickly because otherwise I'll tear the ground up. So yeah, a bit, bit stressful. I'm going to have to get on Facebook, get on the forum, see if there's any known issues with the symptoms I'm having. If not, get on the phone and get someone out to come and take a look at it. But yeah, it is what it is. At least it's not raining and at least we can make money, eh? Next joke. So the last site is done and I'm just giving you a quick update with the tractor. So I downloaded a service and repair manual off the internet, cost me about 30 quid. And as you can see behind me, she is now driving with the clutch. Let me show you what we had to do. So there's a bleed nipple just up there. You can just about see it. Basically set the tractor at 1500 RPM, have ash in the cab, pump in the pedal. I push that bleed nipple, open it up into a container. So all the hydraulic oil is coming out and we bled it of air. Now, hopefully that has fixed it. It seems to be a hundred times better, but we're just gonna run to the shop. I need to wash my hands. I'm covered in oil and then we'll come back and see if it is good to go. Good news, tractor's sorted better than ever. Bad news, absolutely hammering it down. Index for the day. But we have got a meet up with another contractor. We're meeting up with VMS Limited. They're a national vegetation management slash tree surgery business. So if you need any tree works or anything like that sort of, be sure to contact them. But they're coming out to do a site survey. We've been asked to get every single tree surveyed on one of our sites. It's absolutely humongous. One, we've not got the time to do it. And two, if there is any rectification work for the trees needed, we're also not gonna have the qualifications or the time to sort it. So we thought we'll get VMS over and they're gonna come and give us a quote to survey every single tree on this site. I'll then put that forward to the client. If it gets accepted, VMS will be contacting the work. So basically we are now waiting for VMS to turn up. They're not late, we're just early because it's raining, we've got nothing else to do. Once they've been, we're gonna head back to the unit and get all of the maintenance done on the mows that we need to for the month, whether that's sharpening blades or anything like that but yeah bit of a killer we're one day down in revenue for this week but we shall push on and see if the tides turn and as we're waiting for vms we catch up with some quality youtube it's not often i get to might start selling art as well haters will love that 
Wednesday morning and we finally got a break in the weather. We're now at one of our football clubs. I've just gone to walk the ground to check to see whether we can get the tractor on it. Can't believe how much it's firmed up overnight. Just proves that a bit of wind and a bit of a break from the rain always helps us out massively. Let's get the tractor fired up. The boys are going to get the kit off and we can crack on. So we get shifting with the tractor and start mowing all of the pitches. We've got a fair amount to get done. But once that's done, we can get that all line marked and it's looking fantastic. So now that that site is done, the boys have just ran to a school that we managed to cut yesterday. They're going to line mark it today. There was no point line marking it yesterday as it was chucking it down. And I am at another sports pitch. We've got two 11v11s to cut and all the surrounding areas as well to look after. Let's get on with it. So as the boys left to go to that site, I get all of the pitches sorted and when they get back, they get them line marked and all the areas around the outside as well. We're now finally over at the last job of the day, which is a school. We're going to mow the front first once the lessons are finished out on the field, which is very, very soon we will crack on with the field and get this done. So we've got all of the school maintenance to do, the field and the line marking. And just before we started, I got put under a little bit of pressure. But anyway, we're gonna crack on with this and get this done as soon as we can. So that turned into a little bit of a nightmare yesterday. When we turned up to the school, they were like, oh, by the way, we forgot to inform you that in 20 minutes we got a football match. So we had to just rush, but we got it done before the fixture. And yeah, happy days. That's all sorted now and it is now Thursday. We're at a residential job. We've got to reduce this conifer. And there's also a conifer over there that we've got to do reductions too so I'm gonna get all the kit ready and get started on that so we start off by pitting a line in with the hedge cutter to where the customer wants to get it reduced to and then we can just start taking that back with the hedge cutter we've just cracked on with it today so let's show you everything that's been done so we took the rest of it down with the chainsaw but we've done the small one and took two meters off the big ones so yeah it was one of them didn't really film a lot it was all hands on deck obviously ash was holding ladders and uh, rob was running around tidying up but it's all done now. Big up the Crest robot, cutting the grass. It's been fun to watch that actually. But anyway, yes, uh, tomorrow we're going to be on Ashcam because I've got a day full of meetings. Have got some exciting news to announce. Very happy, uh, but it comes with a bit of stress. But I'll explain all of that tomorrow. It's Friday and the boys have been busy. And their first job of the day is some line marking at a sports club. Now we mowed it earlier on in the week, but we didn't line mark it due to the weather. So they get the trite ready and they get started with the six pitches that need marking here. And with this now all mowed and line marked, they're ready for the next site. So the lads get over to the next site, which is Primark, one of our large commercial sites. And they start off with all of the strimming and mowing on the perimeter grass areas and also tidying up as they go. Once they've done a final weed control and final bits of strimming, they get tidied up. Now back on Jack Cam, we've got a delivery from George Browns, which is from their hire department, and it's the Redexium Overseeder for renovations next week. Now my day has started off with meetings and quotes and all of that good stuff, all of which is very good news. And yesterday I kind of divulged that we've had some good news and well, yeah, we have. We've won a very exciting uh, maintenance contract at one of the most prestigious sports grounds in our area, which we're really excited to get started. But that's just taken me away for a few days to get all the planning done, ordering of materials and speaking to people in order to get it off the ground. But anyway, we're getting on top of it and I can't wait to share this journey with everyone on the channel. I'm now just popping back to the unit after yet another quote. I've got to grab some paint because we are meeting up with the one and only Frank from Fleet Paints. And that's because he's given us a demonstration on the Beam Rider made by Fleet, a laser guided line marking system. And it's all very clever. So you can see the laser unit here that we set up in line, which bounces off this reflector and locks on. So when you're walking with the beam rider, there's an arm that goes in and out to keep the line perfectly straight. And you can see the perfect straight line results just here. Now, before we got the demo, I'm not gonna lie, I did think it all sounded like a little bit of a faff. 
However, having now used it, it took us around 20 minutes and we basically did an initial mark out and it was really easy to use. Even walking backwards, it stays locked on for the highest quality. So if you want a demo on the Bean Rider, give Fleet a shout. I would definitely recommend it. It's definitely food for thought. Now the boys are still at Primark. They're now at the front getting all of the mowing and the strimming done. And once they get all of that done, they can do their final checks and call it a day. And we're ending the week on yet more rain. I did want to try and get out in the tractor tomorrow to get ahead because we're meant to be seeding next week. But I don't know if we will be because of this weather. So this week we've been mitigating the rain, but we've managed to get done the stuff that we absolutely needed to. We pushed through the bad weather and made everything happen. We've had contract wins. We've had demos on machines, which I must say I am, and I must say I am extremely impressed with the Fleet Beam Rider. And we have had higher equipment delivered from George Browns. It's been a week of ups and downs. I've still got to try and manage and schedule the up and coming contract wins. But again, I will bring you all on this journey. Thank you so much for watching this week's Behind the Blade. Let us know in the comments what wins you've had this week's or losses. And we shall see you in the next one.